Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Mega Man 3 NES No Death Challenge. For the, those of you who remember in Mega Man 2, I got as far as Dr. Wally's castle. And so now I'm going to try to beat Mega Man 3 without dying here. And I just skipped to the intro there because there's no epic intro like there was in Mega Man 2. So let's just get right to it. Let's start with Mega Man. Here's the introduction of Proto Man. Things are weird. What are those things? Walking eyeballs or something. This music. It's alright, just kind of sissy pot here. It's like too happy. Now I know some of the music make me find the same way, but yeah, they're they're, they're kind of sissy pot too, but Still pretty good though, Mega Man 3 has an awesome soundtrack of course. And of course my favorite part in any Mega Man game, the reappearing blocks. Knucklehead there. And now here's Magnet Man who does a little dance, whatever the heck he does there. There's something about Magnet Man that makes him attractive. No surprise that he's a boss because he does have a lot of pull. He likes to attract danger. He's got attracted two opponents right there. Alright, so one down, seven more robot masters to go. Missile. Alright, next. Easy Man. Looks so stupid right here. Always thought it looked stupid. Look like an old fashioned oven or something. Love the track in this stage, and of course, this level reminds me of Guts Man stage. Let's see if Hard Man has the guts to go one on one with Mega Man. For those of you who don't know about the uh, that trick where if you down the pit and then you have someone use player two to jump out of the pit real quickly. You die, but then you come back, and uh, you eventually jump out of the pit and become invincible. As long as you don't get any more energy to add energy to your energy bar, you'll be invincible. So you can take hits and never die. And But you could not do that on this stage because there are no pits. So in a way, this really is, in a sense, the hardest stage. Hence hard man, I guess? I don't know. I gotta look for that trick on YouTube. I haven't really seen it done since I was a kid, man. 
I'm sure it's got to be somewhere on YouTube, and if not, maybe I could try it, but it's kind of hard to do. And I could do it by myself, you know, just tap the buttons on both controllers, but um, I'm pretty sure it's been done on YouTube somewhere. Alright, E-Tank. I gotta watch out for these things. I gotta be strong right here. Uh. Missile on him, and you'll pull him before long. Just don't get hit by him. Just don't, definitely don't let him land on you. And there you go. Hard man. He was hard to miss. He does go hard though. Get the ha weapon. It's almost at this as if this game is laughing at you. I don't know why it would be laughing at me. But right now I'm doing pretty good so far. Of course, haven't gotten to the challenging parts yet of the game. Next, top man. Stupid. He better be on top of his game. Ah, these little screws that come out of nowhere. They will screw you over. Come on. Yeah, this stage was cool, but I never understood the the design of it, like this trees or leaves or whatever they are inside of glass. But it looks pretty cool and it got baseball stadium lights in the background. Or electrical beehives, whatever they fell. Come on, I shot him three times in the face! Come on! Cat bounce. So, Mega Man 2, there's a dog, and 3 is a cat, and 4 is a hippo. 5, 6, I forgot, but. Huh. It's weird. He's <laughs> by a giant cat. We have Garfield on steroids here. And here he is again. He or she, whatever. Freaking Heathcliff reject. And shooting fleas at you now. <laughs> shooting fleas at you. Wow. What that Flea Man as a Mega Man character? Flea Man or Cat Man? Oh, all right. here as he used a ha weapon so I can laugh in his face because it's pretty easy he spins around like an idiot pwned
And to top it all off, I get the awesome top spin. Jeez. Seriously, why couldn't they give you like those tops that he was shooting at you? That would have been much better than the stupid top spin. But anyway, on to Shadow Man, which is a pretty cool stage. More like Fireman here. The firefall in the background. Or lava fall. I mean, it's a cool stage, but it's kind of the only part of the stage that really fits the description of a shadow is. Wait, well, I'll get to that point. That point in here in a minute. And to have to pwn totem in again. Jeez, and it's a boring, repetitive battle. But I mean, it's good for its time because it makes you think. Who is this robot that keeps fighting Mega Man and then leaves when he's losing? Yeah, so the part coming up right here, this the back, the illusion right here. This makes sense for Shadow Man stage, but everything else like lava and the music, it doesn't. But it's still pretty cool. I, I grew to like it because it's still pretty awesome. Freaking suicide bombers over here! Come on, man. Look like midget GI Joes. Yeah, this part of the track right here is too happy to be a part of a Shadow Man stage. I mean, come on, you think of Shadow Man, you're probably thinking of, I don't know, Ninja or something. Oh man, that would have sucked if I died right there. I can use an awesome top spin. Here we go, watch this fearsome battle. Wow. What a heartbreaking battle. Now I acquire the Shadow Blade and Rush Marine. Now Sparkman. Well he certainly sparked my interest. With this music here that just makes me want to exercise. Spark, there's a fire. You can cut the electricity with a knife. Or if you do, once you get electrocuted. Even the spikes are electrical. As if they aren't deadly enough. Oh, come on, don't die right here. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, better use it in case.
Oh shoot. Dang it. I'm about to get screwed. Oh good. Shell Blade here reminds me a bit of Metal Blade. Nice. Spark Shock. Spock? Alright. Next, Snake Man. Jake the Snake Man. The beginning right there sounds like Mortal Kombat music. Or the Mortal Kombat uh, theme from the commercials back in the day. Movie, rather, I think is what that's what I'm thinking of. All right, so Snake Man, real cool stage, cool music, everything cool about the stage, especially Snake Man. That was a good idea right there, Snake Man. So this Anaconda right here. up here. Jeez, thanks. Ah, oh, for God, it respawns. Busting right in the mouth. Freaking bullet bills over here in the clouds. Look like Lakitu and Bullet Bill had a love child. Oh, jeez, I almost got. Oh, I almost got knocked off twice right there. So yeah, I tried Spark Shock before and it didn't work that good, so I guess you used the Shadow Blade again, that's weird.
love the boss battle music right here. Robot Master. I remember the Salsa Remix version in the Mega Man Anniversary Collection of PS2. Very epic. This is weird right here. He just stands there, don't fight you this time. So I always wondered, is that a glitch in the game, or did this was this meant to happen? He probably said, "I'm getting tired of you, pony man. I'm gonna let you go this time." Okay, now I'm playing Metroid. Snake weapon ready as I face Gemini Man. Whoa, almost like a Flashman background here. Cool Robot Master splits in two. Let's use the snake weapon, it's pretty easy. Watch out for this Gemini laser. And pwned. All 
right, one more to go. Needle Man. Metropolis here. Cool track. Looks like a giant hard hat right there. Huh, it's weird. I don't know why you put it right there. Well, you don't find it, but anyway, I guess for design. the gym not lasers goes everywhere so you gotta just kind of predict where gym not man's gonna jump or do that so yeah it's kind of tough and there we go get real here. I'm gonna fight these dog robots which emulate the robot masters from Mega Man 2. Let's get ready to fight question mark man. Metal Man. Yeah, these robots are harder than they were Mega Man 2. I should have put a conveyor belt right here to get more of the experience of facing Metal Man. Oh man, don't die right here. Look out. Oh. Thank you. 
Alright, quick man. Use Gemini Laser here. He really, really is a pain right here. Come on! Here we go. Needleman stage next. Magnet missile works right here. Yes, it does. Works pretty good. All right. Oh man, this part's gonna be fun. hard hat. Faster. Jeez. Dang, shit, a lot of balls at me. Alright. 
Jeez. Oh boy, Crash Man. Clash Man, whatever you want to call him. But this is where our personalities clash. God, what is the... Man. Oh, jeez, that... What? Oh, man. I totally forgot. No, don't shoot again, you idiot. Push start. Oh, I just cut that laser in half. Man. This version of Crash Man ain't playing around this time. Okay, that's, that's the best one to use. I guess a needle cannon. Jeez, I'm getting pwned right here, man. The pattern is slightly different than it is right here with Crash Man and Mega Man 2. Glad I got those E tanks. Come on, you almost got him, you almost got him. Nice. See if I'm making it on the other side there. You can do that Mega Man 4 at the Barrel Man stage and get like a balloon weapon or something. Hopefully it's the E-Tank, hopefully. Come on, let's go. Yes, thank God. So we can part two. Not so much right here, though. That's probably because uh, there's also difficulty settings in part two. There's normal difficulty. Come on! Oh man, don't lose to Flash Man. Here we go. Nice, all right. Man, that was crazy. 
close. I thought I was gonna die right there in the spikes. Classic Bubble Man background there. Alright, Needle Cannon. Because, of course, needles will pop bubbles. Come on. Oh, that was close. Alright, two more emulator robots to go. Jump up there, you idiot! Come on now. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. This is gonna be tough. Come on. Can we do it? Ah, oh, jeez, oh, come on! Man, I was almost there. Oh, well. That was a good try. Uh, didn't even get to make it to Dr. Wiley's castle this time, but oh well. It was a good run, and it was fun. Jeremy McDougal, are you up to the challenge? Alright guys, see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.